dollar yen, right? So it flipped last night. I had it up during the night uh, when I started, and then of course, uh, and it, it, it would try to bounce here and didn't bounce, and it broke out. All right, so we're going to get rid of this information to the downside right now. We may put it back on, but uh, that is the ATR, so I'm going to leave that on. All right, you have a zero line break on the MACD to the downside and a T3 break but it's not very convincing. Once again, you can see that this is why they have to pull it back, right? So that MACD break took place all the way down here on this candle, right? So there are no sellers here because sellers won't sell at the bottom. So they go back up to find the sellers and hopefully they'll make the turn, all right? So uh, let's go see what the three musketeers say. And they say, we're trying to go, we were trying to go down. We're trying to go up right now. We're trying to go up. Hmm. Trying to go up, trying to go up, trying to go up. Wow. Look at that. See, this was why these are so important to you, right? They're so important because they feed you information you can't get any other way, right? This is the reason, this is the reason we had to develop our own charts. Why do we have to do that? Because the information was not available. The information we needed to trade like the big boys was not available to the retail traders on MT4 when we started. Right? So they tell us we're going up and we're going to go with that. By the way, you always go with what the chart says, even though the correlation may be different. All right? So now all we've done is we've adjusted the trend, the trend of the upside of the channel, and you can see they proved the heart line. So they know that heart line right there. There's the opportunity. That's a huge opportunity, folks. All right. So uh, how would we trade it? All right. So the opportunity is here right there above there and uh dollar yen has 184 pip atr right so there's 180 pips in there right so where's trade one trade one is here where's trade two we'll trade that all the way up to this fib but we'll move our stop at the 1000 because the 1000 may be all they get to go trade three is up here right here and advanced traders will have an, another trade here and another trade there all the way to the top so dollar yen's on the table, right? So let's go over to Euro Yen, right? Euro Yen was a uh, uh, the blog post this morning. Uh, hopefully traders are in it already. So remember, all you got to do is go check the blog right there. Euro Yen, can we break resistance? All right. So this is what I'm looking at. Is this move right in here? All right. So what are we doing? We're doing that move right in there. All right. Still plenty of left. There's one, two, three hundred pips left. There's three T30s plus more. All right. So can I take it right here? No, I can't. Why? Because I'd be buying at the top. Where am I also buying it? At the 1000 uh, target. All right. Which may be all she did. Remember, bankers like to keep everything ba balanced. So this this wave up here, the 1000 equals that wave. So it's even right now. All right. Will they do that? I don't know, especially before the announcement. But after the announcement, they may do that. All right. So three musketeers, what do they tell you? They say, yeah, we're going up. Yeah, we're going up. Yeah, we're going up. All right. What about this one? Yeah, we're going up. Yeah, we're going up. Yeah, we're going up. All right. So there we go. All right. All right. So how do we trade it? Uh it could be that's right larry it could very well be especially if the jolts comes out and they decide that it's positive that's they would use that as an abc exactly correct so this is a very dangerous place to trade above here not so much break to the downside and you're below here not so much but right in here this is no man's land right here all right no man's land up here is good down here is good after we break take out the uh slope support Right there, that would be good. All right, so we're in no man's land, but we have this big opportunity up there. So how would we trade it? There's the opportunity with over 100 pips, and trade one would be here to the fib, right there, and trade two would be above there. That's an upside down snowman, right? Advanced traders would trade one position here and another position here, right? So they would do both. EJ is on the table for a buy. All right, so let's review what we got. We got the dollar yen and we're in the dollar yen already and looking pretty good so far. Uh, trade two is going in maybe now or maybe up here. Yeah, it's going in now. So we had two positions in right now. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right. Nice job, everybody. Some of you may have actually taken it down here. 
Uh, but uh, uh, the strategy we, we came up with was right in here uh, to the target. So working pretty well, three positions, Javier, nice job. Okay, good work. All right, so then we got the EJ, we got a question on it. Is it gonna go? It is, okay, so there we go. Anybody in the EJ, anybody in EJ from the blog post this morning? EJ. Wow, nobody traded. was in and got out the news. Okay, All right. Rob, yes, Rob's in, okay. And we need a pullback. We don't have a pullback. We've got to get a pullback. It's been another 10, man, nope. Gee, I wonder if they know where that fib was. Do you think it's important to have fibs on your charts? Well, because because they know them. They knew them. We knew that. When this took off from here, you knew the next target for them was that fib. That's it. All right. When they blew through the 1,000, you knew the next target was that fib and maybe the 1.618. If it breaks here, which it's doing, our next target is the 1.618 and then the overall target, which is the ATR today. All right. Let's see if we have 55 pips left, although we can't trade it from here because it's unsustainable. All right. Try it at 55 pips so they can make that trade. All right. Right there. All right. We need a pullback, right? So what do I do? Get ready for it. Fib from the swing low to the swing high. Wait for the pullback to the 382. 382, take the bounce. There's the trade. All right, we got an unsustainable move. What does that mean? We got to put a fib on it from the swing low to the swing high. We leave any entry orders we have up here, we leave them on and we wait for a pullback to the 382. If we get a close and reverse at the, at the uh, 382, we add a position here. We leave these positions, this position on up here, right? With two lots in it, one more, one third, two thirds. So you trade. Chart tells you how to trade it. Tells you what to do. We'll see. Anyway, trade's working pretty well for us right now. Got a little stall out. But they might need a little pullback. So because you know they need a pullback, they're looking for buyers. Why would they pull back? Because they run out of buyers at the top. So what are they looking for? Buyers. Well, I'm a buyer. Do I want them to find buyers? Yes. So do I freak out when they're coming down to find buyers to help me get to my target? No. Come on down, baby. What is other traders doing? What are they doing? Oh, no, no, man. I'm up 12 bibs. Oh, no, it's coming down. I'm going to click it out. Blew the blew the risk reward that you'd already figured out. Blew the blew the strategy. Blew the plan. Blew everything, and you're a winner. I'm a winner, man. I won seven pips. Yep, you won the battle and you lost the war. I'm really happy. This is keep on going. But if I'm not in it, I don't have an opportunity. All right. Now, if you are in it and you have profit on here you can consider another position up here, as long as all your stops are at least break even. All right. And that's how you make money. You don't make money because you found a winning trade. You make money because you found a winning trade and maximizing the opportunity that was available. Right? You saw that when we did pip captures and traders were cranking that uh, some of those currencies with four, three, four, five positions, right? Knocking down hundreds of pips. Our traders knock down hundreds of pips, not five, eight, ten, hundreds a day when they're trading. When the market is conducive to what we do, which is what the bankers do, which is what we're trying to do every day, then we have opportunity. As long as you'll trade like the bankers. And if you want to trade like a dumb money, which is the retail money, I'm not calling you the dumb money, but that's what they call us because we do stupid things like use indicators. They don't use indicators. Bankers do not use indicators. You see it. This is the number one bank uh, widget that they use. You can buy it over here. I mean, how many of those things have we seen? This is the tool the bankers use, and now it's available to you. Just twenty nine ninety seven. Junk. They don't use them. That's all marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. All right, dollar yen. There we go. Getting a little push to the upside now. Starting, maybe we'll break up and do here. Another tar another position coming in. And that one you're going to have to hold because you're going to run into the channel. So you're going to have to hold it. When do I move my stop? 
at the 1.618. Where would I move that stop? In this case, Pete, right below the 270, in this case, because I don't have any room up here. If this channel wasn't here and I had this much room up here, that wouldn't need to be that close. I'd be down in here. But because the channel, that's all that's left, I got to be close in here. See that? Does that make sense, Pete? Again, different chart. Yeah, good. Exactly. Yeah. All right, dollar yen working well for us. Keep going. All right, so all your stops are moved on uh, two positions now. Third position just went in. And uh, as soon as we get the thrust up to that 1618, you'll move your stop initially right up here. Initially move your stop right below here. And as you approach the 1.618, right below the 270, right? And what are you doing? It's about a risk and reward decision. I'm willing to risk this right here for that right there. So you can see it's a one for two. But I got to make sure that this money I got is in the bank. So I got to make sure I got my stops moved. All right, that's it. So now you got one position here. Two positions here and trade two. So there are three total positions on with four about to go in again, the fourth position. All right. If it goes to target here, you'll make a, a lot of good money. If it goes to the channel, you'll make even better. If it goes to target, you'll really clean up. All right. EJ about to hit the ATR. There it is. Okay. So there you have it. All right, so everybody was hedged up on that this morning uh, from the blog.